Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf! Yesterday, I had a very interesting wardrobe change, courtesy of our good fashionista friend Proton John, who knew he was one. And today, well, we got mail to check first and foremost. I have a few things in mind that I'd like to get done today, but first and all, let's see what Rocco's got to say. Thanks for having me over the other day, I might mess it. It might mess up the look you got it going in your place, but take this gift anyway. Maybe you'll find it enjoying it after all. Your pal Rocco. Huh, okay. Molly! Okay. I was overcome by emotion when I read your last letter. With you cheering me on, I'm able to work harder than ever. Thank you for your words of wisdom. Aw, okay. Maybe she does appreciate the fountain and just couldn't come out to the ceremony. Okay. Shari. Yo, Emil. Wow, she used the same stationery that Rocky used. Thanks for your emotional letter. Deep stuff like that usually isn't my thing, but you should come by and talk whenever you want. You're always welcome. Later from Shari. Uh, deep emotional stuff as in me giving her a clothing pull. <laughs> she really is the weirdo of the group. So what does it want to do first? Well, it's a little bit complicated. Um, I kind of want to just go around the town and look around for things to do because you guys have been telling me that I have something that I should go do around the beaches lately and I want to go check it out and see if you guys are right. So give me just a moment to comb the beaches a little bit. Okay, well, it seems like it's not here anymore, but when I last sent my town to the Dream Suite, you guys were telling me that there's a lost item on the beach that I should go grab and try to return it, but it seems that it's gone now, so hopefully whoever had it has remembered it. I just kind of wanted to address that because I got quite a few comments telling me about that back when it happened, but, oh well, we can't do that. Let's go ahead and meet our new neighbor. We had somebody named Croak, or Croc, I suppose, if you want to use the uh, French pronunciation moving in here today. Let's see if I am indeed right that they are a frog. Yes, they're- Oh, interesting. Huh? Are you from this town? Hey, I'm Croak. Now, I, you know, I'm not as scary as I look, so don't worry much. As you can clearly see, I just moved here and I don't know anyone yet. I'm probably gonna need a lot of help from you. So thanks in advance for that. Gah, as if. I'm not sure about this guy. I gotta say, I love his carpet and wallpaper. This is really pretty carpet and wallpaper. I like it a lot. Man, maybe I can bum it off of them at some point. I don't know. If you send animals carpet and wallpaper, they are likely to display it in their house. You can kind of, like, interior decorate for your animals, as weird as and odd as that sounds. But, yeah, I don't know. I just, um, he kind of rubs me the wrong way, to be honest. Um, gee, I can't imagine why he would rub me the wrong way. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to go around and do some routine -y stuff. Um, I say that we just kind of talk to animals. We see him. Hey, Pongo, you big jerk. What's up? I'm not even subtle about it anymore. I like heard you're great at catching bugs in me. I need your help. I have to get a centipede. Catch one for me, Snoop. Um, I don't think we've caught a centipede yet. I'll give it a go, but no promises. Basically, um, the way that you get a centipede is that you gotta hit rocks with your shovel and it has a chance of popping out whenever you do that. I've caught a pill bug in that way already, but I haven't caught a centipede yet, so let's see if I can do it. Pietro! I haven't seen you in a few days! What's up, honk honk? Wanna chat? Ah, great timing. You're always good about appearing when I need you. Oh. You're going to Egbert's place today? Could you deliver something important for me? I am just your messenger boy, aren't I? Well, okay. Doing favors is nice and all, but I want to have an actual down-to-earth conversation with the guy, so let me talk to him one more time before I cut away again to go get some regular things done. Let's see. Uh, I'm bored. What? Are you asking if I'm trying to be a real ice skating pro? No comments. A press conference? Oh, please, contact my office, for the, my office for those kinds of things. Oh, sorry, Emil. You caught me in the middle of something. I know, there's absolutely nothing like that in palettes. I was just pretending for a laugh. Ha ha ha. Now I feel kind of dumb. He really is a clown. He's like, I'm doing this for a laugh. I secretly have the Joker in my town. <laughs> okay, I, I, I kind of like that. Pietro, you are a funny guy. Very fitting of your appearance. Biscuit! What you do and want to chat? Uh, do you think Jingle has started getting ready yet? We need to get our present request in soon. Anyway, I'm really hoping my present this year is gray. Okay, well, that tells me what I want to know from yesterday. It's not just strictly their color. So, uh, about Toy Day. I've had some people ask me about that. I have not spoiled nearly everything in regards to how Toy Day works, just because I want to keep some of it a surprise. And um, Just so you know, you don't need to buy toys for it. That's one thing that I have learned. On TV, everyone needs a signature greeting. Then I got to thinking about how it would be cool if I had my own special way of saying hi. Um... Okay, I suppose I can help you out. I'm not good at coming up with greetings, guys! Oh, that sounds funny, actually. He's like, <laughs> I like that. 
That sounds funny. I okay. You know what? No, I will let him keep that one. That is. Oh man. Okay, I made him sound really, really funny when saying that. I like that of the speech synthesis is actually them saying whatever you have written. You know, it's not just them going like randomly. It actually is them attempting to say whatever it is you have written in like a high pitched squeaky voice. So I don't know. I've always really appreciated that. And right, I had a package I need to deliver to Egbert. Where? Where is Egbert? Come on, where did he go? I just had him, and then I lost him. Okay. Can't believe I spaced out and forgot that I had a delivery to him. Yes, yes, I know, you're hungry. Delivery time. Alright. Delivery, mister. Yes, to Egbert. From Pietro? I wonder what this could be. A blue bar shirt. Okay, kind of plain. I kind of like Egbert's normal clothing more than that, so I'm, I'm cool with him not changing into that. Okay. Uh, what do I get for doing this? He gave me a shirt. Watch him be re-gifting the exact same shirt. It's a rugby tee. Huh. Um, okay. I did want to honor the agreement that I would wear this clothing item for one week, but I do want to at least see how I look in this item very, very quickly. Because it basically is Ness's shirt, just saying. Alright, I will go back into the peach dress. I told you guys that I would wear this for a week, and I'm not going to chicken out just because I got some clothing item that I kind of like, even though I would like to wear that Ness. Even though I would like to wear something that looks just like Ness's shirt. Oh, well, it wasn't meant to be. So, one thing that I wanted to bring back up again from yesterday, in case you guys didn't remember, is that, remember that, um, that time capsule that Biscuit had me bury for him? Well... After you've buried it, normally it would turn into a little sapling, but because I buried it around here and no sapling was able to sprout, it just sort of disappeared for a while. It's going to reappear as a crack in the ground whenever that happens, so as a bit of a tip, you can basically get a free sapling out of doing the favor, and hey, special visitor, what's up? Hello again, Sahara. Wow, I got very excited about Sahara. I like that carpets for the petting of cars. Um, I don't really need any carpets or wallpaper, at least as far as I'm concerned, because I really, really like the wallpaper that Isabel gave me, and I've just kind of hung on to it ever since. Oh, cool, we got a lot of new fruits that we've sprouted. Uh, but I think it's at least worth my time to see what Sahara is going to give me, so I'll do this really, really quick. I won't waste too much of our time on this, because I do have some things in mind that I would like to go out of my way to do today. So let's, um, let's see. With this type of furniture and this type of carpet and wallpaper in here when she walks in, I am curious to see what she thinks that my palace will do. Um, alright, so she's going to be doing the taking of the money. She talks a lot like Starfire, once again, okay. And, uh, we just sort of wait outside while she runs all over my house and starts slapping wallpaper everywhere. Okay, here we go. That was not at all what that sounded like, I am so sorry. It is done, done like the past. Tomorrow is here, the future needs not this, you must take it, okay. So, I am very curious what she has done with the place. She is gonna, you know, whatever she gives is whatever she feels like matches the harmony of the room, whatever is fitting to us, so I'm very curious as to what she has given me. Last time she gave me an Aztec temple flooring and a boxing- Whoa! Hey! I don't mind this carpet much, to be honest. I, I kind of like the old carpet a little bit better, but I'd be up for keeping this carpet. This wallpaper, on the other hand, it's gotta go. So I'll put the paw print wall back up. Oh, now it doesn't really match the floor all that well. Oh, well. Um, I'll keep this up for a tiny bit. I'm going to put the uh, old wallpaper into storage, though, just because I feel like I probably would reuse that at some point. Anything that I feel like I might reuse at some point I've been putting into storage. I know that you don't get nearly enough storage to do that in a normal game of Animal Crossing, but I'm a little bit blessed with the fact that, you know, this is a Let's Play. I'm not going out of my way to collect every single last item, like, every single day, like I usually do, because I'm always very obsessive with trying to collect everything. Um, so, that pretty much does it for everything that I wanted to get done here in town. We talked to some animals, you know, we did all that. I hate to say it, but I don't think Club LOL has been completed yet, which is really a shame, because today is Saturday, and there would have been something very awesome going on there had we been able to do it. So, instead, I think I'm going to go around Main Street, and I'll let you guys know if I see anything interesting, but I'm just going to kind of hop around the stores. There's no more Daily Fortune, so I don't really feel like it's overly necessary for me to show the uh, Nookling store every single day anymore, unless I, there's something there that I really want to pick up. I decided I kind of like this door right here. It's not too terribly different from my existing door, but I think I'll grab it for the house tomorrow. We have a new jingle item in stock, so I think I'll go ahead and grab the jingle dresser just because it's a limited time item, and I would want to grab it for a later point. Seems there's also a fortune cookie in stock, so I'm going to grab one of these, and we are indeed going to have a fortune for the day. I'm very glad that we're able to do this again, because I was worried that the daily fortune was just going to go away for a while, and I didn't want that to happen. Let's see what we got today! 
There was a fortune inside. Let's see. It always rains on your birthday. No one ever gives you an umbrella. Uh, is that gonna be a bad one? I don't know. Aww, I'm sorry to say, but number 38 is not a winner. Please accept this item. The kitschy wall is a consolation prize. So close. Alright, well, looks like today I'm a loser once again. My four-leaf clover did absolutely nothing to help me. Ah! Looks like the Able Sister store is under construction, or at least the upstairs part of it is. Of course, we'll be getting into that whenever that is completed, but I just thought I would want to give that some special attention because that is awesome! Uh, something else that I wanted to bring up that you guys have been telling me about. Um, I forgot to mention that there is also a reward for buying lots and lots of saplings, which I have been doing this pretty much any day, every day anyway. But I did feel like I wanted to give it special attention that just like flowers, you do want to buy saplings as much as possible as well, so I'm going to start doing that. Okay, there wasn't really a whole lot over on Main Street that I wanted. Pretty much what you saw was all of it, aside from me grabbing a few clothing items for next week, which cannot come soon enough. Come next Friday, I can take this dang dress off. God, I wonder if that means it's going to get all dirty and sweaty and gross and all that. Um, I wanted to head here to Town Hall really quick, and I wanted to go over a specific public works project that I have yet to give attention to. Uh, okay, so on my list of public works projects, you can see that there is a new one on the list. This thing, the Reset Center, okay. This is an incredibly expensive public works project. In fact, I think it's the second most expensive one of all. And this is one that you need to unlock. How do you unlock it, you may ask? Well, throughout the Animal Crossing series, a bit of a staple is that if you turn off your game without saving, which I had actually done a few days ago that I... I meant to show this back when it happened, and my only reason for not doing so was that the video that I was going to show it in was running very, very long already, so I just kind of saved it for another day. After you reset your game one time, you will be greeted by this man, or mole, I should say. Mr. Resetti, without the formalities, just Resetti. This guy is a staple of the Animal Crossing series. If you turn off your game without saving, he will come and complain to you, being like, Ah, go bloggle, this is a life simulation game, you should not reset because real life has no do-overs. Ah, because he totally sounds like that, not like, blah, 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 as you can hear. And the thing about Mr. Rossetti is the fact that he will only scold you the first time that you do this here, unless you build the Reset Center. Thing is, he has been victim of budget cuts. They just didn't really think it was necessary for government funding to continue funding anti-reset alliances or whatever it is, anti-reset alliance. It sounds really, really epic. But he's lost his job. The recession's hitting hard everywhere, even in Animal Crossing. And it's entirely a moral choice thing to you. You get scolded, and you have to listen to, like, a ten-minute lecture every time you want to do over at something. And even though it costs you tons of bells to give him his job back, it's kind of one of those things of, do you do it just to give a man his job back? Is it a moral thing like that? Granted, by building this thing, you do get some items that you can't get elsewhere, but they're not really super important items. So it's just kind of one of those things where it's pretty much purely a moral decision. And I do want to make this decision at some point throughout the series, but I did, but I'm not really sure I want to make it quite yet. Uh, so for that reason, I just kind of wanted to give this special attention right now, just to kind of show what happens if you reset your game and just give attention to this public works project just to let you know that it's there. But what did I want to do? Well, what is it that I want you from you guys? I haven't asked for anything from you guys for a few days now, ever since the whole, you know, design thing. And that's a good question. I want you to take a look at this list of public works projects, minus the Reset Center. I think that we should erect a public works project where Amelia's house used to be. Kind of in memory of her. That's all the public works projects that I have the ability to build right now. And I want to put it where Amelia's house used to be, just so that we kind of always have a memory of her. Because she is the lost villager of Palette, and she's kind of gone for no reason other than me getting sick and just me not being here to stop her from moving. Because... I, I'm not really sure I would have let her move away if I was able to play during all those days, so I'm not really sure about that. I don't know. But that pretty much does it. Um, once again, it is Saturday, so there would be something going on, but we can't really do that. Okay, and Sahara, will you get out of my doorway so I can go in my damn house? Hi. Right. Um, she's not moving. Get out of there! Sahara! Get out! Hi. Right. Come on! Move it! Come on, there we go, jeez! Freaking animal AI, ugh. So, uh, I have accumulated quite a bit of furniture items that I do want to test out in my house. Just things that I gathered yesterday and today, things that I never got around to yesterday, things that I might have obtained today and just never really got around to trying out. We got, um, that kitschy wall, the citrus carpet, we got the old board floor that I've been using. 
Uh, and I might even just want to see what these items are. Let's see. Uh, so first off, we got the compass. What is this like? Interesting. That would go nice, like, on a table or something like that if you wanted to have, like, an explorer-themed room. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, the sleek stereo, I think I've... Yeah, I've already seen this. Uh, once again, we don't have any sort of music for a house that could have changed today. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, so it's a ventilation fan, as in you hang it on the wall. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Very industrial. Not sure that I like that. Okay, so that's zero so far. Uh, the Kotatsu, I'm not really sure what that is. We got that from, uh, Chester over in the, uh, campsites. Let's see. Uh, oh, one of those things. Okay. Um, that could be kind of nice for a Japanese room. I assume that that is, like, a table of some kind. Um, let me see. What else do we got? The Master Sword, of course. I did, can't believe I didn't show this. Uh, it's got its stand from Skyward Sword now. It used to be from Ocarina of Time previous Animal Crossing games, but it's different now. I'm a fan of that new item jingle. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I'm not really sure if I have a good place for that here, though, but I definitely would want to do it. And Potted Ivy. Uh, let's see what that looks like hung from a wall. Hmm, so that's what Rocco gave me. You know what? I'll keep that in the room. We don't talk to Rocco enough, and I feel like we should talk to him more, so we'll give him that. Uh, I do not like that wall in the slightest. This wall's kind of nice, but I don't really think it fits this room too well, so I'm going to stick with my Poppert wall. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So, um, I'm just saying, even though we got a pretty large room here, things are starting to feel kind of cramped for me. So, I think after this video is over, whenever I get around to playing again, I'm probably going to sell some stuff to retail, pick the fruit around town, maybe go to the island, and I'm thinking about paying off this house to Nook. And on top of that, I do need more money for tomorrow because of that public works project that we're going to be doing. So, that is your assignment for today. Uh, choose what public works project we erect where Amelia's house used to be to immortalize her memory. Submit your suggestions for that uh, through hashtag chugacrossing. And, of course, as always, you gotta tell me why that item would be a good thing to remember Amelia with. Tomorrow in Animal Crossing New Leaf. I have a bit of an announcement, actually, about that. I am hoping tomorrow to be the first day that we have some company over. And we get to see the multiplayer. Alright? See you guys tomorrow.